or I want you after seeing this video to begin to get conscious of angels and I want you not just to be conscious of angels that you begin to worship them but to know that angels are always there looking at you just waiting for you to say on your mark get set go they are waiting for your order they are waiting for your command like a dispatch rider angels are waiting for order where should i take this to what do you want me to do for you they're always there every morning when you wake up every night when you sleep your angel is always at a lot but you have made these angels dormant and jobless because you really don't even know they exist to start with. or perhaps you know they exist but you just don't know how to put them to work which is the essence of this video in this video today we'll be discussing how to employ angels to work for you how to activate your angels to put them to work who are angels what are they supposed to be doing are they gods are they servants what exactly are angels to you we'll be discussing all of that in this video don't go nowhere i'll be back hi guys welcome back to my channel you're very much welcome if it's your first time and if you're a returning subscriber you know i love you all for always coming back to check on this channel but if it's your first time on this channel do us a favor subscribe to the channel turn on the notification so you get a ding when we upload a new video or come live streaming so today we'll be looking into how to employ your angels who are angels or what are angels what is their major job description and we'll also be discussing their primary assignment for every man in this video first i want you to understand in the book of hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 it states clearly are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation now they in this context is referring to angels is referring to angels so the primary job description of angels is to minister to the children of god so if you're a child of god you should learn how to employ your angel and to make them work for you now i want us to quickly discuss this angels are not gods so you don't pray to angels i want you to clearly understand job descriptions here so according to that scripture it has become very clear that angels are supposed to be ministering to us they are god's invisible or visible army of warfare protection guidance supervision and so on but it's rather unfortunate a lot of christians do not understand the power they possess by employing the service of angels while growing up a lot of us grew up due to my bible story book a lot of us grew up knowing angels to be winged creature with fairy tale looks with sword flashy sword in its hand and um, you know a whole lot of us have a picture in our head of a fairy looking a uh, fierce looking um, beautiful white robe winged you know that's the picture we all have in our head as angels but the truth is angel could take any form angel could take the human form having face body ears nose human you know angels could decide to be in any format not just the creature that we used to know while growing up angels also could be visible they could be invisible if you're not in a hurry i really want us to break it down so that you will understand when you come in contact with an angel or perhaps you have even met an angel in time past unknowingly to you probably you may have met an angel according to the book of hebrews 13 2, angels could come in form of guests they could be in form of strangers hebrews 13 verse 2 says be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unaware so also further proof to you that angels can take the form of humans in genesis chapter 19 from verse 1 to 22 that's the destruction of sodom you would realize that the two angels sent on assignment to destroy the city came in form of human they were seen people could see them all right so angels could be in human form but now i want you to understand angels are spirit beings they are spirits that god has assigned to an individual to help them complete an assignment 
to help them carry on an assignment to guide them to protect them from dangers that cannot be seen with bare eyes all right so angels help facilitate the work of god as long as you're a child of god angels are helping you to achieve your purpose angels are helping you to achieve whatever it is god has put in your hands to do angels are to minister to you angels are not gods you shouldn't pray to angels but you should command angels to work for you and now someone would want to ask can i see angel of course you can see angels probably you may have even seen an angel without you knowing that you have actually seen an angel sit down and recall an account of a situation where you have really been and um, it's like there is no way out of the situation nothing else can come out of this situation in fact it's a near-death situation where a lot of people have given up on you a lot of people have given up on some stuffs around you but suddenly you just see things take a divine turn and at such times god has used his angels probably to turn situations around probably to change some stuffs around probably to touch the heart of someone who is holding on to this situation as if they wouldn't let go so there are several contacts we have had with angel without us knowing but i want you after seeing this video to begin to get conscious of angels and i want you not just to be conscious of angels that you begin to worship them but to know that angels are always there looking at you just waiting for you to say on your mark get set go they are waiting for your order they are waiting for your command like a dispatch rider angels are waiting for order where should i take this to what do you want me to do for you they're always there every morning when you wake up every night when you sleep your angel is always at a lot but you have made these angels dormant and jobless because you really don't even know they exist to start with. or perhaps you know they exist but you just don't know how to put them to work which is the essence of this video so before we go ahead i want you to have i want to create an analogy i want to create an analogy and i want you to understand it so like you have a dual check god the father has signed god the son has signed and god the holy spirit signed so if the three in one just signed the check you definitely also need to sign the check in order for in order for withdrawal to take place if they all sign this check and you have not signed yours it's not going to take place according to psalms 115 verse 16 it says the heavens is the lord the heavens is the lord and he has given us the earth to take care of in other words he has given us the authority to take charge of the earth to make it look like heaven one strategic way to do this is to employ the service of angels but the moment you don't employ the service of angels the angels hands are tied they look at you so it is your duty to give them job description assignment on what to do angel you are to do this angel you are to do that and at the end of the day you take scores to see what did this angel do did this angel do that you know that is their assignment okay so let's look at how you can employ your angels to start working so the very first step to putting your angels to work is in the book of daniel chapter 10. if you read the whole of that chapter chapter 10 i think from verse 1 to 14 thereabout you would see how daniel fasted and prayed okay so for you to activate your angel to start with it begins with fasting and prayer daniel fasted and prayed and somewhere in between the fasting i think after 24 days thereabout god opened his eyes to see his angel and the angel came that we have been sent to you how can we help you how may we help you so the very first step to activating your own angel to make them start working for you is to first of all go to god in prayer and in fasting the second great way to activate your angel and make them start working for you is via praise and worship the bible says where two or three are gathered he is there in their midst he's coming using these angels to be a part of your fellowship he's coming to use this angel to multiply your praise i really don't know how to explain that there are angels assigned to music there are angels assigned to music, angel of music. When you sing, when you worship, you would realize that your voice spiritually is sounding like that of a multitude. Not just because 
the two of you are there in the name of the Lord, but because there are angels to enhance your praise and take it up to the Father. I don't know if this is making sense, okay? I'll be dropping a couple of Bible passages down in the description at your own time. I want you to go back there and do a study. Read the scriptures yourself and realize that some of these things are scriptural. So during praise and worship, the angel of God are activated. They begin to walk in your favor. The reason why it is said to be that you praise and worship God, prayers are quickly answered in the place of praise and worship. There are so many angels coming down upon your praise and they're responsible for taking your praise and worship up to God like a sweet smelling server. Number three, now that your angels are fully activated, I want to warn you, be careful what you say. According to the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 12, the angel of the Lord came to Daniel and told Daniel, we have heard, we have come to help you because we have heard your words. So you really want to be careful what you are saying at every point in time. Reason why we as Christians are advised to always confess positivity. Let there be no time where you confess negativity. So whatever comes out of your mouth becomes power. The words that comes out of your mouth, they are spirit, they are life. You know, so you really want to be careful what you say at every time. So whatever situations look negative, you want to turn it around to positivity so your angel can take it all up and bring answers for you. So now we really want to get powerfully into the control of commanding our angels to work for us. So the next thing you really want to do, which is point number four, is to command your angels with the word of God. And that would also depend on the situation that you actually need the help of angels for. It would depend on the situation you need the help of the angel for. You have Psalm 23 for provision. You have Psalm 91 for protection. You have Psalm 35 for warfare. Psalm 109, all right? Psalm 103 verse 20. So depending on the situation you're currently in, you can send your angel on assignment. You angel of wealth, go out there today on my behalf and bring my blessings wherever they are. Bring my money wherever they are. Bring my wealth wherever they are. You can also command your angels as I go out According to Psalm 91, the Bible says it will give his angel charge over me so I don't dash my feet against any stone. He said he will protect me against the sun and against the moon by night. So these are words, affirmations that can help you put your angel to work. So the moment you begin to say all of these things according to the word of God, according to the scriptures, you would realize that your angels become powerfully activated and they begin to work on your behalf. In the description, I'll be dropping the prayer points to help you activate your angels. I'll be dropping them in the description. Make sure to see the description down. Just go down in the description area of this video. I'll be dropping the prayer points that can help you activate your angel by putting them to work. When you wake up in the morning, declare your day. The days are evil. The Bible says, redeem the time for the days are evil. So this simply means that you should activate your angels, put them to work. Evils are flying around in the day, in the noon time, even while you're sleeping. So you really want to make sure that you are using these angels 24 seven. You know, you are human, you are limited. Angels are spirit beings. So they can work 24 seven tirelessly. But you can't. So in the aspect where you are tired, you need sleep, put your angels to work and let them begin to work for you. I hope this is making sense. And I want you to also know this as point number five. The angel of God assigned to help you can be bound by the enemy, just like it happened to Daniel. The Bible records that God has answered Daniel's prayer. The answer has been sent to him. Immediately, he opened his mouth to say it. But the prince of Persia held his request. They held the angel that was supposed to deliver the message back to Daniel. He was, he was held bound. But thank God for angel Michael that went to deliver that angel and lose him, which is point number six. So you want to set your angels loose in whatever aspect that the enemy has held down, 
held bound your angels that are assigned to bless you angels that god has put in place to help your life to help your career to help your ministry to help you in areas where your strength has failed god will begin to release them for you in the name of jesus and i also want to warn don't idolize angels you are far superior than angels you have the image of god angels are to work for you angels are working for you they are to work with you okay i see a lot of people say they pray to angels you don't pray to angels you pray to god in the name of jesus you pray to god in the name of jesus so where you need help ask the holy spirit for help but what angels are typically doing is to assist you where human strength fail where human strength can't get to angels help you speed up things to make them happen for you so don't idolize angel angels are not gods angels are messengers from god let me know if you have signs or symptoms that angels are around you let me know in the comment area and also ask me questions there or on my community tab and don't forget to check the description because i'll be dropping prayer points that can help you activate your angel and start putting them to work don't forget to share this video if it is helpful and make sure that you turn on the bell so you don't miss the notification when i upload a new video see you in my next video until then stay blessed bye